Well, he stabilized, but it took too long. He's in a coma. What about him? Soldiers' nanomachines from the system. And the nanomachines went berserk. I believe this is the first time we're showing this. This is actually an upgraded version of the Fulton device that we call the wormhole extraction device. We're trying to make as many connections. Just no. Don't get us booked up again. Don't touch that dial now. We're just getting started. Retrieved the rifle and shot his wife. state of consciousness has helped us implant powerful suggestions through induced hypnagogia. 
He has experienced all your missions on record and shares all your knowledge and experience to make him believe that he is the one true big boss. upgraded version of the full device that we call the wormhole extraction device. Here's all the timings of it. Be careful down there, boss. It's not you, is it? suggestions through induced hypnagogia. Boss, the mission objective is to eliminate two U.S. Marines officials. Boss, we need to make contact with the undercover agent posing as a soldier at the base.
like Castlevania, don't you? I see that you enjoy Konami games. The human brain is capable of many illusions. Life stranding when they're dead and they're stranded, they call it death stranding. One journey will end in purgatory, but let us pray that they who travel the depths of hell will this time reach paradise how do we get back to our world there is a way though this is not currently possible To return home, we need to activate a device called the Digger, which is capable of generating large wormholes. However, we lack the data to do this. This world is located on the other end of a wormhole, or a distortion in space-time. For convenience, we call this world Dite. As you know, six months ago, an enormous wormhole appeared over Mother Base when ExoWeb attacked you. That event enabled us to obtain the coordinates of their world. So this means that something from some world comes and is stranded. That's what it means. We've known about this life form for decades now, and about the world it comes from. While it looks a lot like ours, it's populated by wanderers. It's like a vision of hell. I'll be issuing all instructions by radio. Guess I'll see you in hell. Good luck, Captain. All right, revival went A-OK. -okay. I know you've just woken up and you're probably wondering what the hell's going on, but we're short on time. I'll give you the gist of things while we wait for the wormhole digger to finish starting up. Okay, so basically, I'm going to be sending you to another dimension. You're now standing in D-Day. The world beyond the wormholes.
I saw the same thing in this guy. And I was here, just like you. Where is here? They call it Dite. To put it simply, it's a world in another dimension. A world destroyed by some unknown parasite. in the course of our investigation that Dite's environment is very similar to that of Earth. However, it is decisively different from Earth in factors such as the presence of Wanderers and the dust. Introducing myself. I am Standalone Operational Support Program, Virgil 89. It's nice to meet you. Monsters, now talking machine. Virgil, you take over at the captain's mission support. I'm counting on you. Good luck's gotta go dark. Hope we'll be alright. Do not worry. I will assume the role of the captain's mission support. I find this place to be much like our own world, except everything is in ruins. It's known as Dite, a name borrowed from a city in hell that appeared in Dante's The Divine Comedy. Personally, I don't believe in hell, but if it did exist, I imagine it'd look a lot like this. I'm Chloe Dubois, a researcher assigned to Wardenclyffe section and member of the Caron Corps, which was formed to investigate this world. For those of you that slept through your college lit class, Charon is also taken from Dante's seminal work. He is the ferryman who carries departed souls across the river to the afterlife. It was good luck who came up with both names. Personal data acquired. Welcome aboard Charon's boat, Captain. They're dead and they're stranded, they call it death and stranding.
one journey will end in purgatory, but let us pray that they who travel the depths of hell will this time reach paradise. So before I continue, if you're listening to this, it means I'm already on my way to purgatory. Transmission. 
Seems like he had a way of IDing who's symptomatic. But what was he trying to say? Snail. Yes, of course. It all makes sense now. Stranding when you have a lot of whales or dolphins stranded to the beach. So it's something, so it's also, it's a stranding for something that is not alive. So when they're alive, it's called li li life stranding. When they're dead and they're stranded, they call it death stranding.
is the ferryman who carries departed souls across the river to the afterlife. Welcome aboard Karen's boat, Captain. So we're trying to make as many connections through this strand, so in that regard, this project is extremely important for us. is a mist-like substance made up of micro-sized particles of unknown composition. It covers the greater part of Dite. It is extremely toxic to humans, and without some form of countermeasure, a person cannot operate within it unimpeded. Damn it! He be dropping! Intubate! Now! 
Cardiac arrest, he's in BFIB! Clear! It was just like any other night. I was out on a call with the doctor when we lost contact with the hospital. We drove back as fast as we could, but the hospital was on fire. And if that wasn't hard enough to believe, a moment later, there was a light in the sky. It sucked our ambulance into it with us in it. Somehow, we survived, but then the doctor started acting strangely. infection stimulating tissue growth nothing we haven't seen before except this time we're talking about human tissue evidence of remarkable adaptation against the infection we end up in your world once you have all gone through we'll close the wormhole to prevent it from following you please you have to trust us they can't go home they've only got two options heaven Oh, yeah. No, there's another. Better heaven. Tape's rolling, boss. <laughs>
You use a wheelchair? All the more reason for us to work together, right? Okay. All right, then. Welcome to Detail, Chris. His altered state of consciousness has helped us implant powerful suggestions through induced hypnagogia. That arm was lost six months ago when it was severed. What? And yet, it regenerated.
I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. <sighs> so you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. Dread Dust. What is that exactly? We began as an invention of your world. Medical nanomachines. From analyzing the memories of the Dread Dust, it appears its origin can in fact be traced to the invention of medical nanomachines. However, how many cycles ago the dust emerged, that is unclear. In the not too distant future, you will likely turn into a wanderer. Nano machines. I was the one who created the first generation. A nanomachine colony, part of which was Fox Dye. Nine years ago, at Shadow Moses, I injected it into your body, Snake. Machines inside soldiers' bodies adapt to different conditions, promoting the release of neurotransmitters, hormones, and stimulants, giving them an edge in battle. They can create an artificial combat high by releasing endorphins at the same time a soldier kills an enemy. Or they can suppress hormones to neutralize the soldier's emotions, prevent them from panicking and engaging in friendly fire or needless massacres. It's all controlled by the system's core AI. It artificially controls the soldier's pain, emotion, senses, in other words, the essence of his being. The skyrocketing demands of the war economy have fueled the demand for more soldiers and more fighting. This in turn led to the development of technologies to rapidly improve their combat abilities and control their actions. The system ensures a steady supply of battle-optimized soldiers at a minimum of cost. But you, of all people, must understand, Snake, that unlike combat technique, a soldier's senses can't be taught. They must be earned through experience. Does this have something to do with that test of yours? The goal was to release the soldier's nanomachines from the system. But we didn't know about the mental control. And the nanomachines went berserk? No. Our test was a success. At least it confirmed our hypothesis at the time. Just as we predicted, the nanomachines stopped functioning, and the PMC soldiers were freed from the grips of the system. But the moment the system stopped, all the pain and fury and sorrow, all the trauma and stress, all the hatred, regret, guilt, all the sensations that had been suppressed were unleashed within their hearts. Their memories, unlike their senses, weren't erased. Each enemy soldier they'd killed, each lost comrade, each threat of violence against the innocent. Every act of war they'd committed was etched firmly in their hearts. In suppressing the user's mind, the nanomachines exact a heavy burden on his heart. The user's body rejects the nanomachines. This reaction must then be suppressed with drugs. Before the user knows it, his mind is in complete shambles. Snake, remember Frank? Frank Yeager. Gray Fox. They twisted his body for their experiments and nullified his broken heart with nanomachines. SOP has taken it even further and applied it to living human beings. The sins of war these soldiers carried inside them returned to assault them in the form of unimaginable shell shock. 
The meaning in the system may have changed. The battlefield hasn't. Until that point, war was like a game to them. And then suddenly, reality came crashing down. He has experienced all your missions on record and shares all your knowledge and experience to make him believe that he is the one true big boss. Its origin can in fact be traced to the invention of medical nanomachines. Zombie なんか出るわけないじゃないですか。止めれなコントローラーだろ。Do the same thing as me, betray your audience. Soldier, if you enjoy watching our videos, then consider supporting us on Patreon. As you may know, our videos are non-profitable. But with your support on Patreon, you can now help us improve and evolve our mother I, I, I mean, channel. In doing so, you'll be able to benefit from exclusive behind-the-scenes footage, sneak peeks from our upcoming videos, early access, and many more. Head over to patreoncom silken for more. Having said that. Your presence is what matters the most to us, so we thank you nonetheless. Until we meet again, Python and Silken, out.